The tibial rotation knee hinge is a very useful way to begin incorporating the rotational control of your knee joint into closed chain setups, basically when your foot is connected to the floor. Um, to feel this, we can do this drill on both sides, so we might have assigned either internal rotation with your foot and shin rotating inward, or external rotation, or potentially both. For internal rotation, you'll want to set up in your standard tibial rotation setup, internally rotate the knee joint, and then let the leg drop down until the ball of your foot is on the ground, and the lateral side or the outside arch of your foot is off the ground. Then from here, ask your heel to get light, can stay on the floor though and then the the motion or the hinge is going to be lifting your knee up as high as you can without letting the outside of your foot drop to the ground so it might be a very small movement but that movement is coming from your knee joint if you let your foot drop to the floor you get a lot more motion because the ankle is starting to become part of it so really make sure that you keep that heel light and you're finding just how much motion is available strictly from the knee rotation if you find yourself having a real struggle with that, I'd recommend putting something underneath the outside of your foot, maybe a balled up towel uh, or dowel that allows you to feel as soon as your foot starts to drop. For the other direction of rotation, you'll externally rotate your knee joint and then again drop the foot and the knee to the ground. And same idea here, we're going to try to keep this inside arch of the foot off the floor as we bring the knee up and in. Go ahead and repeat those for reps, noticing the contraction effort happening in the thigh and the side of the knee, and the lengthening or maybe stretch sensation feeling on the inside of the knee.